Welcome back, everybody. We're back for another week of Daily Fantasy NASCAR. This week, we head to Martinsville, Virginia for the STP 500. First short track of the year. It's a half mile, flat, uh, about 12 degrees of banking. We're going to start at DFSR.com here. This is where I write the article every week. This is my early week race preview. I kind of go over a little bit uh, about the race, what's been happening in NASCAR, and then I get into some of the storylines, some of the trends that are going on coming into the track. We look at top 10 track history, top 10 track history for the career, top 10 short track history that includes three different tracks. That's Martinsville, Bristol, and Richmond. The current form, which covers the last six races. And then something I added this week to my race by race trend sheet is the salary drop. So pretty much what we're looking at here is guys that have seen a salary drop from last week to this week. Um, you can also look at their season average there as well and kind of just see where they sit another way to find value as well be careful with that one as usually if guys are going to be dropping that much salary chances are they're either going to have current form or they're not very good at the track so mostly target those guys for gpp only at the bottoms we're going to find the cheat sheet link and the race by race trends link so you can click on the trends link here it's going to open it up in another tab you can click on the cheat sheet here or here where it says get it here and it will open the cheat sheet when you get into the cheat sheet, you're going to want to create your own, so file, make a copy, name it whatever you want. When you click OK, it's going to open another cheat sheet and another tab. That one will be your own. Uh, you'll be able to sort the data. So when you click on a column, say we're looking at last two years track history, average finish, click on any cell in that column and you can go to data and sort A to Z for lowest to highest. When you do that, it's going to bring up and rank them from best track history to worst track history over the last two years. Now you can do that for any column, whether it be laps led, top 20s, top 10s, set DK salary. Um, you can also go into career track history. That's something else we're going to look at. But to start start out, we're going to look at the last two years track history. So as you can see, Kyle Busch only raced here three times. He had a broken leg in 2015, so he missed the spring race here. He won this race last spring and he has finished top five all three times the last two years so he i mean uh under five average finish he's definitely going to be coming in and with jimmy johnson when we get into career track history jimmy dominates here he's got nine wins as you can see uh 24 top tens in his in 30 career races kyle bush is right underneath him in salary so he could make a really good gpp play this week that's someone i'm that's the two guys i'm really going to be paying attention to in that top tier how you know through practice and qualifying Career track history will sort at lowest to highest. Like I said, Jimmy Johnson's at the top. He's got nine wins, 24 top tens, and 30 races. Just absolutely amazing. Right underneath him, we got Denny Hamlin. He's got five career wins here. He's had a little bit of a slow start to the year, um, so he might come in a little, little bit lower owned this week just because of that current form. And one thing to pay attention to as well with Hamlin when we go over to the race-by-race -race trend sheet is that his salary came up $1,200 this week. That could also force a lot of people away from him and, and maybe into the Brad Kozlowski or the Kevin Harvick right above him who's seen a $1,000 drop. So pay attention to that through practice as well. Denny Hamlin, um, see if he's got some speed because he's been very good here in the past. Looking at the short track, I'm not going to be weighing the, the two-year short track history that much this week because Martinsville, Bristol, and Richmond are they're all short tracks, but they're all different, I guess you could say. Martinsville, like I said, is around 12 degrees of banking, flat track. Um, it's shaped like a paper clip. Bristol has a lot of banking right around that 24 degrees of banking. So it is the same length as Martinsville, but a lot more banking. Richmond has about the same banking as Martinsville, but it's a D-shaped oval. So all three are going to be different. So I'm going to be weighing that pretty low. Just kind of, a, I guess, something I'm going to look at when I'm making my lineups for guys that maybe are better at short tracks versus maybe super speedways or or intermediate tracks. Next on the list is current form. Current form draws from the last six races, so we're still looking at the last race, um, the season championship where Jimmy Johnson won back at Homestead, Miami. So when we sort that column, guess who pops up? Kyle Larson, number 42. Dude's got four runner-up finishes, including the one at Homestead, uh, 12th at Daytona 500, and he just won his second career race last week in dominating fashion. So 
even though he may not have the best track history here at Martinsville, look out for the 42. He's pretty much punched his ticket as an elite driver in this series. There's no practice for qualifying yet, so you're not going to see anything here. Um, this will populate automatically come tomorrow morning, which just happens to be one of my favorite days besides race day itself. Love watching practice, taking notes, seeing how things will go. Uh, I'm going to be adding more notes here in the future to the article. Probably going to find it just in the notes section, or a lot of it's going to be in the Saturday article that I re release with my picks once practice and qualifying is over. So I haven't really adjusted my model yet, just kind of got things set up, wanted to do a video here. Uh, I'm going to start working with the model once we start getting the practice and qualifying times in. So for now we're going to go over, we're just going to look a little bit more into the race by race trends. Some of the guys that we're looking at, like I mentioned, we can sort this and we can see some of the guys with the biggest drops in salary this week. Right at the top, Kevin Harvick, down a thousand and he's actually about 700 below his season average so far. So um, Casey Kane. Stanhouse. So we've got a lot of low guys. The guy I really like here is uh, Ryan Blaine. He really stands out. He's down below 8K after two weeks in that 8K range. Comes back to his home track. He grew up around 45 minutes to an hour from here. His crew chief grew up about 40 to 45 minutes from here, as well as the Wood Brothers Racing long ago when they started their race team. This is kind of where they got things started uh, back in the day. So this is going to be kind of a home track, home game, I guess you could say, for the number 21 Wood Brothers and Ryan Blaney this week so gonna be pushing for him and I really like seeing that he's seen a $600 decrease he's gonna be probably high owned I'd say in the 20-25% range this week but he's gonna be hard to avoid they're gonna be going 110% trying to get him the win for sure other than that if you got any questions about any drivers I maybe didn't mention before we get going on practice or qualifying or during practice or qualifying you can hit me up, just go to the article, you can leave a comment here at the bottom. And you can also check on the chat room, I should be around there most of tomorrow during practice and qualifying throughout the day, um, so if you have any questions at all, hit me up there. To get into that chat room specifically for the NHL PGA and NASCAR that you see here at the bottom, you go into menu, once you've logged into the DFSR.com site, you're going to click on chat. And then that's where you're going to see the NHL PGA NASCAR chat. Click on there, you should find me in there. Other than that, you can hit me up on Twitter, at Jaeger underscore bombs9. Other than that, I'll be back with another video once practice and qualifying is done and I get my uh, picks article out. should see that about Saturday evening, um, sometime before, I'd say, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Thanks for checking out my video. Remember, sorry about that, remember to smash the like button and uh, see you soon.